Today I am going to be answering one of your art questions about using a heat gun versus a hair dryer to dry your acrylic paintings. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. Iris writes, why is a hair dryer used to assist drying acrylic paint rather than a heat gun? This question would be more fun to answer with a story. Years ago, at one of my classes, I had a lady and her son who came for about a month. The son was about 12 years old, he was autistic, and he was having a blast. This kid was so much fun to have in class. But he would paint his fish, he didn't see things the way we did. He's, his fish were always painted different colors than what his reference photo was. His water was a different color. Who cares? It's art and he was loving it. He had so much fun and his mom sat there and criticized him the whole time. She wanted the colors to be more realistic. She wanted this and it just drove me crazy. It's like, what, what is wrong with you? Anyway, this woman argued with everything I said. She would bring a reference photo, I would show her how to paint that and then she would argue about the placement of things. She would argue about the balance. She would argue about the, I mean, if she could argue about it, she did. And if there was nothing to argue about, she just invented something. It was just an ongoing, it was very disruptive to the class. She came in one day and decided that she no longer wanted to use a hairdryer. She wanted to use the heat gun that I advised strongly against. But I already knew she wouldn't listen to me. So after warning her against it, she went ahead and used it. Acrylic paint is a type of plastic. What happens when you heat plastic too high? It bubbles. And that is what happened to her painting. So she had wet paint, she took the heat gun and it burned it and bubbled it and caused it to crack. It caused a lot of problems. I, problems that you don't typically see with acrylic paint. I was quite amused by the situation because you can only warn somebody about something so many times before you finally just say, you know what, fine, do it your way. But please don't burn the building down. In short, the heat gun gets too hot and will burn and cause the the acrylic to bubble. If you're going to use something to dry your work, use a hair dryer and keep it at a distance. You don't want to put it right on the work either because you could again overheat it. So that's why in my videos it kind of looks like I'm right on top of it that the hair dryer is almost touching the painting. It never is. It is always about a foot away. It's just that's not what it looks like on the video. So yes, that use the hair dryer, keep it at a distance. You don't want to overheat that plastic. I have a frequently asked questions page over on my website. If you cannot find the answer to your question, I have a section where you can submit your own question to be featured in one of these videos. I will have a card pop up here. You can check that out. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, art Q&A videos every Thursday, and artist vlogs each weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus. all of those social media sites are linked below in the video description where you can keep up with news my newest work and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys on Saturday.